Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you don't know me, my name is Denasia, but you can call me Nay, and that's no E. And today's video is going to be a little get ready with me slash vlog with my cousin, y'all. She's over there. Y'all can barely see her, but okay, dang. <laughs> she's doing her makeup over there. So we're just gonna do a little chit chat, get ready with me. Let me talk in. Let me go with my sponges real quick. Okay, oh, wear mine too? Yeah. I have a lot of them, sorry. Alright, y'all. So why my cousin went to go um and don't excuse how my hair looks a mess. It's gonna be together by the end of this video. Trust. Never been one of them. But just let it let it vibe. But while she does that, I am about to do my skincare routine. So I go in with the CeraVe, and let me tell y'all, so basically today, we don't even really have a plan, we just gonna get cute, see where life takes us. Yeah, because, yeah. And y'all, look how good my flexi rods be coming out, like, girl, you can't tell me that's not a wine curl, like, come on. Thank you. The quality in this thing is good. It's really good. I got my little bonnet on. But yeah. Uh, do you, uh, you need to just like talk about the topics? You need to pull it up on my phone so I can remember? Yeah, we wrote down some topics so we could talk about. So we're just going to go down the list. And we haven't talked about them before. We just was brainstorming them. So let's see if we think alike. Because if you don't know, she's younger than me. I'm the big cousin. Uh, but our birthdays are 10 days apart. Her birthday is March 10th and mine is March 20th. 8th grader. And a junior. Right? Yeah. So we're three years apart? Yeah. Um, I'm going to do the rest of my skincare. Because my skin has not been thriving lately at all. Like at all. Mine hasn't either. I've been getting a little bumps on my face and I don't get bumps on my face. It looked clear. That's how I've been getting. Like I don't I haven't been getting actual pimples. I've been getting like just these like bumps. little fine bumps. That's why I saw some words just even coming from like what is this? Like okay, what's the first topic? <clears throat> okay. How do you feel about posting your partner, aka slash boyfriend slash girlfriend? You go first. I feel like I believe I'm not the type of person to where I like if I'm gonna get in a relationship I don't like an open relationship I can't like I don't want the whole world to know who I'm talking to what's the side I for <laughs> what's nothing the, I like if I'm talking to somebody I'm not saying private because oh baby you gonna know I'm dating the person but I just don't want it to be like an open relationship because you know how people post everything that happens in their relationship on social media. Yeah, like y'all get into it, they post it. Yeah, like, they post, uh, oh, this is why you don't trust females. Like, you can't do stuff like that. Single, with that little single gif that oh, everybody God, posts. I hate that. I'm like, just get over yourself. But yeah, like, I mean, like, after probably like a couple of weeks or a couple of a month, let's say the max is a month, I will post you. Like, it's not that serious. After a month? Okay, after probably like five weeks though. Y'all, me and my boyfriend have been like, okay, so now let me tell y'all how I feel about it. So, I don't really know. I feel like you can, but I don't know. Like, I think you should probably post them at least once, but I would never be one of those girls that my page turns into a fan page for him. Like, there's this one, let me not throw shade, but there's, like, there's girls that literally all they do is post their boyfriend, and it's just like, that's like, come on now. Like, I feel like you don't have to post me. You don't have to. We don't have to post each other as long as it's like no. You know. Yeah, I definitely agree. Cause this one, I'm not gonna say no name. This one girl, like her, like her, all her highlights. Her yes. Me, even her me highlight has him in there, and I'm just like, baby. Like I have, I know a girl exactly like that too. Even her profile picture has him. That's it's it's him. Like, it's like I was like. You like you love him more than yourself. Like what's literally like it's your Instagram. I followed you, baby. If I wanted to follow him, I would be following him. Exactly. Okay. So we pretty much came to understand the next topic. What do you consider cheating? You can go first, man. Because I I haven't been cheated on. 
No, I'm not saying you have like. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Bro, I'm not saying you have but, like. I'm not saying you have, but like, I'm just saying you go first. Cause like, <laughs> bro, that was shady. It <laughs> was. That was so shady. Like side eye. Anyways, so um, what do I consider cheating? I can say I'm not gonna lie. Okay, it's a difference. Like some stuff, there's like two categories. It's like it's it could be some things are not cheating. It's just disrespectful. Yeah. Like. But if it's disrespectful, when you get to that disrespectful line, you're damn near cheating. So you might as well just, like, cut it out. Like, let me give y'all some examples. Like, obviously, I don't know. It's like a, it's a very thin line that gets crossed quickly. Like, okay, like, what do you think is cheating? You go first. Okay, so I, I don't know what to say. What I think is cheating, first of all. Oh, here she go with that. Which she, she, she rubbed her hands again. Y'all can't even see her. She over there. She over oh, stressing. She said she been dying to talk about it. Okay, so I feel like I feel like if you go meet up, not even meet up with a girl. Let's say you're with your homeboys and they have a and they know that you're in a relationship and then you have females over there. And I can understand if there's a certain amount of females, but if there's if it's an equal amount of females for your homeboys, including you, oh, first of all. I'm not gonna say it's cheating even if you didn't do anything. That's it's not even cheating. It's disrespect. Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, where she got it? Where I agree at? Cause I don't. My, it's gonna be bitches everywhere. Ooh, I'm. Ooh, yikes. It's gonna be girls everywhere. So I can't even say like just cause if you somewhere with girls that that's cheating. But let me tell you, if it's an equal amount, I'm not dumb. First of all, if it's five of y'all and it's five girls, it's a five man. Exactly. There it go. Like, you hey, a two man, a five man, a three man. I don't care. You don't tell me you're not doing it. It could be like, a stop sixteen it. man. Somebody that asked me to go on the six man before. It don't matter how many people it is. If there is an equal amount, especially if your homeboys know that you're dating somebody, that's it's like I would just call it cheating because. If I can say if there was five of the homeboys and four females, okay, for your homeboys, not you. And you should be you should be smart enough to know, like, I wouldn't even go on that because they're like, why is there five girls? That's my thing. Like, I don't understand why dudes put themselves in these situations. I would never put myself in a situation like that. Because it's just like, if I know I have a boyfriend, why why would I be... Why would I go on a three-minute format? If I, even if I'm like, I'm not going to do nothing. I'm just there to be a... Like, the problem is... This is a whole nother topic. The problem is, you niggas are gay. And uh, y'all care more about y'all friends mm. than y'all do y'all girlfriends and ever. Ooh. And it's like so sad. And it's crazy. Let me stop right there now. Let me get started. <laughs> now, I'm going to throw a little shade. They might not even watch, but I'm going to throw a little shade. I was talking to this one boy before. And literally, it was like, he was just, he acted so gay. It's like, it's like he would, because for his party or whatever, he would do something. And his friends would have their own opinion. And he wouldn't do it no more. And I'm just like, why do you do that? I was just like, you literally let these boys like just roll over you. Like, literally every single time. Like, if you know you like somebody. Oh my gosh. Like, if you. I, I hate. Okay, so my thing with dudes is y'all care they care so much about their friend's opinion like me of course girls do too sometimes some girls do but not me like of course i might ask my friend but i'm not looking to my friends to know okay should I, is he good enough or is he cute enough or all this other stuff because you know what it's mine nigga i don't give a fuck what nobody else has to say about it and it's like y'all like literally my boys like move like they have one singular mind like they all just it's <sighs> And I literally, I most definitely agree because it's just like, if you like me, why are you letting your homeboys, like, first of all, that's good that your homeboys don't like me because I'm not for your homeboys. I'm for you. So why are you listening to your homeboys? Of course, I'm not going to be attracted to them because everybody has their own different type. Like, why are you letting these boys, like, it's just, I just absolutely hate it with the passion. It's just like any male, any boy, any man that does that, I already hate you. And I know it's a strong word, but I strongly hate you. Because it's just like, it's not. I just don't like, I don't like no follow the leader ass nigga. There it go. That's like, it right there. Need... Summed it up. Like, I don't like no follow the leader ass nigga. Like, can you have a mind of your own? Can you do what you want to do? Because I'm going to do what I want to do regardless. 
and then yeah let me get off this topic because we both getting a little round up next let's go back to the what do we think is cheating thing okay so i'm gonna tell you some stuff and tell me if you think this is cheating so do you think it's cheating if your boyfriend um just they don't they don't slide up but they just like a girl another girl story and it's a story of her face it's not it's like a story of her a selfie uh she all in front of the camera doing her big one yes that's cheating because can't no cuz like can't nobody like the thing of people think that's dumb about people is that i'm gonna kind of switch up a little bit that's dumb about people is that they think like they think about it they don't think about it from how the other person will feel or they don't think about it if it was vice versa or it, how it would be if the roles were reversed because if i was if i was in a relationship if i was like one of your homeboy or another male in general's post of him of his face you will feel some type of way so why would it be okay if you can do it, if you would get mad if i would do it? <laughs> simple as that that's simple cheap that. that's cheap because why are you liking her pictures baby you don't even be liking my my stories <laughs> and you liking hers like no that's cheap that's just cheating, pure cheating. You can't, can't nobody convince me that's not cheating. You gotta have a real good reason. Yo, grandma better be dying for <laughs> for me to believe you. Like I swear, cause it's just it don't work out like that. Next. All right, so yeah, I agree. I agree with that, cause. For me personally, it's like for one, like what the fuck is you liking this big picture for? But not even just that. It's just like. You know how messy girls are. Like, you know, like, you gonna really give a girl the power to be like, yeah, Denae's a nigga be in my, he be in my likes, he be in my DM. Like, are you serious? Are you serious? Like, the fact that you even stoop that low to that level. Stoop to that level. Like, Let's talk, can we talk about something else? Yes. This is so off topic, but can we talk about how dudes literally, like, their girlfriends can be so pretty, so beautiful, and they de they want to cheat with the look dustiest most just just gremlin <laughs> at this point more roaches like, 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 ugh. like you baby you look like a dinosaur it's not even to the point like i hate that because like you have a beautiful woman she'll treat you good like every it will be just green flags all over like she ain't never cheated you know she'll be loyal and you see some dusty girl who first of all who don't got no emotion who don't look better <laughs> Hold on. Who can't dress. Can't dress. Who, broke. Like, and who don't even look cute, natural, but not only natural, with makeup. Baby, you just, you just, it's, it's, Cut it like, out. Like, it's embarrassing. Finito. It's embarrassing. It's just embarrassing. Like, you're embarrassing yourself and you're making her look even dumber. Both of y'all look dumb. Both of y'all. Yeah. I just, I just think, you know what I think it is? I think dudes, like, they, like, they just be self-sabotaging themselves because like, I just be like, y'all can't, y'all have to be doing this like, shit on purpose. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, bro. Like, that, that's just like, just ain't no way. Because when I tell you they be going out so sad, like, going out just horrendous. Oh, uh, another topic. How do you feel about your partner going out, like, to parties or with his friends? Just in general. Alright, so this one, this one hit close to home for me. But, me personally, I feel like, okay, so let me tell y'all I feel. I feel like, I think going to parties is more than okay. Like, within reason. Um, because when you get in a relationship, your life doesn't stop. Like, you still should have fun with your friends and go out with your friends and stuff. Because that's kind of, like, toxic for you to not be with nobody but them. And a lot of times, like... Not everybody in your friend group is going to be in a relationship. So, that's what kids our age want to do. Go to parties, you know, have fun. It's all about how you act when you're at the party. As long as you're being respectful and you're not doing too much. And, like, obviously you can't go to no party and be, oh, behind a girl. Like, no. Because, please don't help me. But, you want to go have fun, you know, chill with the dudes. That's cool with me. Because I want to do that too. Like, when I go, when, I, when I'm with my friends... I have been to parties like since I've been in a relationship and but I be like with my friends. Like if I'm if I'm a dance, I'm a dance by myself or I'm a dance on my friends. Like exactly. I think it's just all about how you do it. Yeah, I most definitely agree because one thing is that relationship or not, I'm going to be outside regardless. Like it don't even matter. So it's like number one, if you can't accept that then we just not we just can't. It ain't gonna work. Oh, hold on, this is another thing that pisses me off. However, I have two things to say. For one, it did also, but you can't, if all you do is go out and all you do is be with your friends 24-8, then that's the problem. But also, another thing that I was going to say is, I don't 
understand why guys they get a girl and she's been acting like this like you see how the girl acts on instagram you get a girl who dress who dresses like you know how she gonna dress she be outside why on earth would you try to get with a girl like that just to complain about that stuff when you get with her oh like i've oh been this God. way that is one thing that i like that is like a pet peeve like i absolutely hate that because like if you know if you know that I do the stuff that I do, if you know that I post like this, if you know I post this type of stuff, if you know I do this, why are you going to get with me to complain about the stuff that I do whenever you have never said anything until you felt the type of way that you have felt? And I've been doing it. That's the crazy part. Like and I can understand if I started to cut you off. I can understand if I just started doing it once we got together. Okay. But baby, I've been doing this. What are, like what like what are you getting out of this? Like specifically, one thing that I see guys do a lot, do this a lot. My boyfriend don't do this, but that I see guys do a lot, like this for my friends, is like about clothes. Like if a girl been dressing like a hoochie, I'm not even saying that in a bad way because I'm be, best believe it's summer. Right. No, but like if a girl been dressing, she was dressing like a hoochie when you met her. She was dressing like a hoochie when you asked her a number. Why would you ever expect her to start dressing like a nun when y'all get together? That's crazy. Exactly. Like. Come on now, let's have some, let's be realistic. Like, there, there's just, I feel like, I feel like in a relationship, there's just certain levels and there's just certain boundaries. Like, there's just, it's just certain things to it. Like, yeah, everybody gonna have their own opinion, but it's just like, sometimes you gotta like, I feel like the biggest part about it is just communication. Not only that, I just feel like you have to think about it if the roles are reversed. Anything that you do, like, if you're finna do something and if you know, if you think, if you're thinking like, uh... Would Denasia get mad if I was to do this? Or if or if you get Yep, I'ma tell you right now, if you're thinking it, I'ma be mad. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not only that, but if you think about it, roles are reversed and not like in a nonchalant way, like actual true genuine feelings. Like if you know that the thing you're about to do, if Denasia or if your girlfriend was to do it, if you will be mad, then you don't, don't do, do it. it. As simple as that. Just like just be smart. Like they don't have brains, like they know what they're doing. They're no, they know exactly what they're doing. They don't be caring. Exactly. Like, baby, because if you don't want to care, I could not care ten times worse. I hate they try to play that I don't care game. Because whenever I stop caring, oh. Like, I don't know why boys think it's so cute to be nonchalant. That's just not cute or attractive. It's that. not attractive at all. Like, like, it honestly, it makes me sick to my stomach. If like, I can honest. understand, like, if you're a chill person, because this person that I'm talking to at the moment, he's a chill, he's not nonchalant, but he's a chill person, but he doesn't, like, try to play that, oh, I don't care. Like, he's just normally chill. Baby, because if you don't care, why are you with me? Exactly. Like, just be honest. So. Mm. Alright, next, what, how do you feel about, um, <laughs> I already know what we're kind of going to say, but how do you feel about uh, your boyfriend having a girl best friend? Baby, what? A girl who? A girl who? Huh? Okay. The only girl you need to be having is your girlfriend, me. Yes, if it's not your mom, your sister, I don't want to hear it. I don't, mean, I don't even want you to have a girl cousin. Because people, cause people be doing sweet home Alabama stuff. <laughs> I don't even want you to be having a girl cousin. Nah, my boyfriend can have cousins. Like, it's not that deep. But yeah, as far as a girl best friend, I just feel like for you to come to me and talk about a girl best friend, you got to think I'm a dumbass bitch. You guys too, because I'm gonna be honest. I do think that girls and boys can be friends and it not be no issue. But, but to be a best friend, exactly. you dragged it. That's you what I'm dragged saying. Like, it. I feel like because every person that I know that has a girl best friend, not a girl that's a friend, a girl best friend, they don't either did something together, they don't either used to talk, they always have some type of connection. girl. Some of them be exes. Why do you think that your ex is gonna be your girl best friend? Do I look like a dummy to you? Like, come on now. And it's just like, I just feel like you cannot play. Or even it. then, I'm not going to compete with no other girl for time, nothing like, please. Exactly. Like, if you want a girl best friend, baby, just go ahead and date her. Leave me alone. Y'all could be together. I'm not tripping. It's just a simple fact is that, like, just don't try to play me like I'm just dumb. Don't ever come to me talking about some, my play sister, my girl hum. No, your girl nothing because, like. Yeah, I, I hate that. Because, Them play sisters and brothers, first of all. Y'all are sick because y'all be effing y'all brothers. You the same one they be in the comment, bro, brother, like my big bro. Oh God! Come on now, but bros before ho. No, like none shut of that. up. None of that. None of that. I don't want to hear none of that. Just the simple fact is because like you're I, too close. Exactly. My boyfriend can have girls that are like friends that are girls within reason because some of you hoes be pushing it, but 
Um, like that's fine. But to have a girl best friend, like this your best friend, like yo person that you tell everything, get away from me. That's another thing too. The the idea of my man getting we're in we're into it. Okay, when you're into it with your boyfriend, who you gonna go to? Your best friend. Yeah. So your best friend's a girl. You finna go talk about me to another hoe? Ah, oh, hell no. Nah. And then like, they could use that stuff against me. Mind you, if I don't even know the girl, you just telling people that they don't even know me stuff. Like, mm -mm, it don't work like that. It's just like, it's just like, it's a certain level. If you gonna tell somebody about me, at, at that point, I wouldn't even want you to tell somebody about me. Like, if you feel some type of way about something that I did, well, communicate no, it, that with me. Well, it's me. not even just about communication, but sometimes you just do need to vent with somebody other than your partner. Like, yeah. that's what friends are for. Like, me, I don't really vent to my friends. I vent to my mom, to be honest. But, like, that's what, like, sometimes you do need to hear another opinion that's not you. Because, obviously, like, I'm going to think I'm right. And I do be right, to be honest. Like, if we just keep it in a book. But, like, you're always going to think you're right. Like, sometimes it helps to have a third like somebody else to talk to or even just a vent like even if you're not looking for any, no advice mm -hmm. just to you know i mean i can agree but i just feel like okay like okay most not okay most things i mine's a little different most things like if you, if it's if it's not like something that's like a big big deal that you know you can communicate with me then just tell me because we can come fix that on our own but if it's like little things that happens that you're telling everybody is going to get annoying at a certain point because it's just like dang i didn't even know you felt like that yeah why why is your homeboy coming to me about something that no I, mm -mm. at our big grown age because we we're getting up there to have your friends coming to talk to me about stuff is a big no-no i hate it i hate it i hate it because why are you telling your homeboy something whenever you could have been telling me and if the person who i think my watches, or if it even comes up, this is most definitely directed to you. You know exactly who I'm talking about. You don't let me get up. Oh, wow. You know exactly who I'm talking about. I can't even say too much. But just please, like, I hate it. Like, why are you having your homeboy come up to me telling me, why would I do this? Or why would I use this person's this, that, or the third? Why you ain't tell me about it? Why you gotta go to him? It's not that serious. It's never that well, what did he say? Um, it's just not that, that serious, serious, like at all. It's not that serious. Like you could have been told me, but yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's even a little personal part, but um, yeah, personal. I do agree though, cause it's just childish. Like, how old are we? And then oh, another pet peeve. This, another pet peeve. I hate whenever somebody be like, I'm him. Baby, shut up. Like you're, like you're, like oh my gosh, I hate it so much. They be like, oh, I'm him. I'm that N word, or I'm da 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 da. Like you're not anything. You know what's bothering me? Because it's just, it's just the same way as that girls be like, I'm that girl, or I'm the it girl. But the thing is that if you gonna call yourself an it girl, you gotta actually be an it girl. You gotta represent. No, people that. lie about it all the time. It's several people on my timeline every day calling themselves the it girl, <laughs> and it don't be it don't be shit it about them to be honest. Everyone calls themselves that, and they don't be shit it about them. Like I have one friend. Everyone's gonna know who I'm talking about. I'm not gonna say her name, but <laughs> everyone know who I'm talking about. I have one friend, like she can call herself the eight girl because she she does what needs to be done. But the rest of y'all be looking a damn mess. Like, why would you do that? It's like at some point we have to just be fucking for real, you know? Let me stop talking about this. <laughs> why does somebody be offended? <laughs> Cause I'm sure we already done offended. No I'm sure we done already offended at least three people in this video. We should, I should offend every every person that I'm describing. If you if if you know if you think I'm describing you, I hope you're offended. Cause I mean every word I said, every and word I said, every word I meant. Like I meant everything that I said, and I will not take it back. Oh yeah, I can go follow my Instagram. Yeah, official .kaya, but the I is a one. Period. Oh, and I do post like once every three months. So I'm gonna just let y'all know. So I don't really be on. I be on my spam. Yeah, y'all go request that spam if you really want to see. You really want to see what Kaya about. You want to see the real Kaya. The real deal, Holy Holyfield Kaya is my spam close friends. Y'all, yeah, well, she just added me to today. That's so trifling. Like, at this point, we're not even like, we're not even that cool to be honest. Because girl, what? Oh, it's never that serious. It is though. Get your link back. I just like you. I been got my link back. Okay, Denasia. Like, it's just like, ever since she got a little bit older, she just forgets who the big cousin is. 
you know who, who who's the original let's talk about how i didn't like her for the first couple years of her life because y'all rakaya for one i didn't i wasn't messing with the fact how I, how I used to be the only grandkid and then she came along just really spoiling my party i'm not gonna lie then rakaya used to be so annoyed she used to always break my stuff oh i recently remember i think i broke your bed you she used to break everything yeah, like I broke your uh y'all took an ear and got your ear so yeah she ripped my ear uh the hole on my ear like girl rakaya used to terrorize me like bad just terrorizing me and she was so little you wouldn't even expect her to be acting like that but she did that's my dog now though it's been a long time coming it is what it is have i apologized for that stuff the only thing i really apologized for was the ear everything else I yes my ear is still struggling to this day <laughs> i ain't never really apologized for anything else i mean he was little but yeah i was bad she was bad like and she had a smart mouth dude she still got a smart mouth so it ain't nothing new about that okay how do you feel i got another topic how do you feel about jumping in fights for your friends if it depends on the friend i'm gonna be honest i have friends that i'm not jumping in the fight for you unless you're getting your ass whooped i'm talking about getting beat the fuck up and then i also have friends that I don't care if she winning, losing, none of that. If this friend is fighting, bitch, we're beating your ass. I don't care. Like, I don't care. You say that's wrong all you want. But I, that, it's only it's really only one or two people that I feel that way about. Yeah, there's only three people. And, of course, my family. My family fight, I'm fighting with y'all. But, like, other than that, it's only one or two people that I would do that for. My other friends, if they're going to beat up, obviously, I'm going to have to help. Because that's just, it's not even just about us being friends. It's like, if we came somewhere together, I'm not just going to let you get dragged. Like, that's... It's not that's messed thing. up. That's not how I was raised. Yeah, so you would just let your friend get beat up? No, 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 no. It depends on the circumstance. Like if my friends, no, no, not like not out of the three people that I would that I would jump in for. I would jump in for them regardless. Like those three, though, yeah, regardless. But anybody else, like if you started the beef and you and you started the beef, talk about three girls and you need me to help you jump in. Especially at school, I can't do that for you because I'm a dance. I'm not getting in trouble. Mind you, Rakai is the person that talks about everybody. <laughs> Mind you, like one fight, the whole, the whole fight. I'll be having to put my glasses on halfway through because y'all cannot see, so I'll be having to make sure it look right. But yeah, if the family fight, that's most definitely like that's just like hundred percent jumping in, like. Like they won't even allow, they won't even be able to be dragged on the floor. Simple as that. Yeah, but honestly, like I don't agree with jumping. I would avoid it at all costs. But at the same time, like you gotta have loyalty to your friends. So you can't like real friends, not yeah, yo. That's why I'm saying it's about two or three. Uh, my associates. Maybe the best. The best I could do is try to break it up. Okay. Like that's the best I could do. But my friends, oh yeah, y'all fighting? Mind you, I have three friends, so if any of them three are fighting, whether they started it or not, whether they right or wrong, I'm going to jump in because that's just how I am. But I am going to be mad at you. If you started it, I'm going to be mad. I'm like, bitch, you got us fighting here because you can't, like, be quiet. We need another topic. Oh. Sure. Yeah, it's big time. You bake it too? That's yeah. what I'm doing as well. I really don't bake, honestly, because I don't put it on there for long enough for it to be called a bake. But. Yeah, me neither. I don't I don't even see the real point of it. I see the point of setting powder, but I don't really bake. I just put it on and then I get the stuff ready to do the rest of my face and then once that I'm done with that, I take it off. I just get my little brush and I add a little bit and right here under my eyes and on the sides or whatever I just dab 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 and I just blend it in. This is the best part of makeup to me. The bacon? No, when you get to this step and then you get I just really like this snatched. You just snatch your face in and then I put it in my under eye. And I double set in my under eye. I don't know if anybody else does that, but I have like I get I my under eyes crease really really bad so I have to 
or else I feel like it looks stupid. And it don't last as good. Talk about. Talk, just like okay, well, I want to hear this. This is just a personal question. I want to know what's your type? Me, yeah, who else for Kaya? <laughs> I mean, like, the I feel like the only thing that's off limits, I can't even tell you because I did used to talk to a light skin, but I just can't do light skins. Like, I can't. I'm sorry, people may be offended. You could be offended, you could feel any type of way you want. I can't do a light skin. Like, I learned my lesson the first time. Who was light skin? Oh, I didn't tell you about mosquito. That's no. what I called him. I called him mosquito. No, but just let it go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, who the fuck is mosquito? Like what? That's what I call him. But I really did. I really did talk to a light skinned person, and it's like not only was he just cringy, he was just like he just wasn't giving. I don't know how to explain it. It just wasn't it. That's all I'm gonna say. I love my dark skins. I'm sorry. I love, 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 love my dark skins. Like you just, like I don't even know. It's just like, it's like a piece of my heart. I love a fine dark skin slash brown. So you gotta have like not not like pitch black. Like you can't be dark dark. Like you're getting controversial. <laughs> Wrap it up. Like just black. Like you can't be that dark. But like. Brown skin, yeah. I'll talk to a brown skin, but I love my dark skins. And then you gotta have hair. Waves, anything wave, the boosty fade, boosty uh the girl uh, yellow beezy haircut, any Oh, hold on. <laughs> this is a whole nother topic of the video. Hold on. If you have a shag in 2023, please okay. doors over there. It's a mess. Like you have to stop it. Y'all have y'all have to be stopped. A shag in 2023 is outrageous. And y'all, like my dad used to have a shag back in the day. And yeah, I, my and father. And he he had a shag too? Yes, he no, but his No, he had a boosty fade. That's different. Oh, yeah, he had the, the shag where you got that big nappy piece of hair oh, in the no, back. He had that at the top of his head. Yeah, he had a boosty fade. Um No, like to have a shag in 2023, it's just it's a big number. It's outrageous. It's it's I've like personally I would never stoop that low. You've like you took it too far, honestly. If you have a shag in twenty twenty three, you took it too far. All the way too far. And anything oh anything that's like I mean like for you for me to mess with you if you have waves, like you gotta be real, real cute. You gotta be like just no, you gotta cute. be just fine. You just... gotta just be fine for you to not have no hair for you to look that good. But you gotta have at least a little hair. If you don't have like a little, a little mini afro, or whatever, make sure you keep it maintained. See, I don't like that. Don't have little, little, little nappy parts of your head. Just like keep it maintained. Y'all, let me tell y'all. I used to be a no dreads girl. I used to hate dreads. I used to be like, why do y'all have like? I used, to, I just wasn't attracted to them. But y'all. Oh, I love. My dreads. boyfriend now really just changed my mind. Like now, I really like dreads. Um, like you just, you said you love dreads. Ooh, I'm, let, let me, that's, that's what I was going to talk about last I, I'm not talking The person I'm talking to now He don't have dreads But look I love me a dread head I don't care I don't care I don't care I like If your dreads Like I feel like If I was talking to somebody with dreads I love the dreads Not you <laughs> <laughs> No Like seriously I love dreads Because y'all Specifically y'all My boyfriend got this Um He had got these Little two strand twists With his dreads Y'all, them hoes was. <laughs> like I like that. I love. I'm a dread girl. Like I love me. I love locks. Like just everything about it. It's just like it just and do then, it for you. And the thing is that like if you find two with them, like if you're fine with the dreads, like some people they only pull females because they have locks, because they be having their little to cover it up. They cover Ooh, their face. Y'all ever seen? But. Have you ever seen somebody who got the dreads like how they be having them hanging in front of their face? Yeah. Then they pull them dreads up and it's like, oh, jump but scare. Just, I just love them so much. Like it's just like it's like a cute. I just love it. I don't even the words can't even explain the way I feel. Cause I'm like she really love her some dreads. I do. I used to, I was delusional over them. That's one thing about me. I've never been delusional. Mm mm. I cannot agree. I feel 
feel like I've been de crazy delusional before. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm just put myself out there. Why? I don't understand how y'all become delusional. Like, so you just like decide not to look at the facts? Yes, like it's just like it's just like they're too it's like it's too good to be true and then like I'm an overthinker so I'm gonna be like like he wouldn't even do me like that like he would oh yes he would but in my mind at that moment like he ain't even finna do me like that just like I dragged it with the blush a little bit I'm not gonna lie let me go in with the beauty blender like don't worry it'll blend out yeah but um what's my type Your my boyfriend. type yeah and honestly, he's like my first like real real boyfriend, so I feel like you can establish a type with that, you know. But I feel like this is like what I, you know what? Hold on, I got y'all. Y'all wanna know my type? My type not about looks. It's not about looks at all, actually. Mine's isn't either. Mine's isn't about either. I like. I like. I don't know. I I went through this phase where I used to like like bad boys or people that was kind of like mm -hmm. aggressive. Not hood, just aggressive. I don't like that no more. I want a boy that's nice to me. Classy. A non nonchalant. A non Yeah, I don't want nobody nonchalant. I don't ugh. I don't. The hood nigga thing is so played out. It's so tired. I'm not into it. It's not my vibe. Like I don't like that. I don't like I, don't I want to do it with a future. And then And that could be in whatever. Sports. Like whatever you want to do, even if you just want to go to school regular. But a hood nigga. And then another no thing that I love, like one thing is that no hate against rap music because I listen to rap music, but I hate somebody that's always that's like that's the only type of music they listen to is rap. Like you gotta be a little diverse. Like at this point, I would accept country if all you listen to was was rap. Like I need to be able to to be with somebody. Like if we're in a car somewhere and we listen probably to some Brent Fires maybe. Yeah, like a couple. Like y'all, my boyfriend like old school music. I really like that because I like don't get me wrong. He loved him some bop 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 gang to in this bitch too. But you know, I like because I'm I like hood music too. I'm not gonna lie. Like I I sometimes I feel as though I'm a thug when I'm in the car. I like to feel like I'm about to go on a drive by. I'm about to hit a play. You know, like that's the vibe I be going for. But at the same time, I want to listen to like old school R and B. Like uh, what else? Like just like vibe music. Like I love Summer Walker. Oh, that's another thing. Who are your top three favorite artists? I really, I really, to be honest, like, I can't even tell you because I listen to so many people. No, pick a top three. That's what makes it hard. R&B? Okay, yeah, we can do top three R&B and then top three rap. Okay. Top three R&B. It's an unpopular opinion. I feel like my third will probably be SZA. That's because I've been listening to her since 2016. So she will always have like a soft spot in my heart. And then I love girls and boys. Yeah. I gotta give it to Brent. I always talk about Brent Fires. I love That's Brent. number two? Yeah. And my top one, it's like a mix. It's like I like Summer Walker and Janae. Alright, let me tell y'all my top three. I'm gonna go right now. It changes. But I'm going to go right now. My top three right now. We're going to go Janae Aiko. I love Janae. Janae is like, whenever I'm like going through something or just when I'm sad, that's what I'm listening to. I'm going to put on my Janae and I'm going to, you know, do me. So Janae is definitely up there for me. Uh, Who else? Janae. I, want, I would say SZA, but... She I, don't hit all the time. Yeah, SZA don't hit all the time for me. And that's so, like... I need somebody that I can play, like... And it's always gonna hit. Every single I don't know who... I'm, honestly, I don't know who my number two is, but just know Summer Walker's my number one. Summer Walker, I listen to Summer Walker probably every single day. Every she single is. time, she gonna hit. Like... It's like, she ain't never disappointed. And my crazy thing is, I would never go to a Summer Walker concert because I feel like she's not a good performer and it's a waste of money, but... Not in like a bad way. Some people like it's just their voice. Like she just got it. She has the voice. She don't gotta perform. She don't want to because the voice it eats. Like, but it's it's like her lyrics for me. Like she literally has a song for anything you could possibly be going through. Like shame, let it go, constant BS. Like literally, SZA. I recently got into SZA, but she's not top three for me because when I think about it, if I if I can go a whole day without listening to you, you're not top three for me. I'm listening to, I start my day every morning with, um, with Janae Aiko. 
I either listen to Waves or I listen to um Above and Beyond. It depends on what kind of day it is. But like every morning, Summer Walker, she's in there for me. So I don't really have this. That's really my top two. Okay, now let's do top three rap. Of three, I have two people. Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole. It's an unpopular opinion, but I love them so much. I love J. Cole. I, love I like them too, but they're just not top three for me. I mean, for me, like, they share top. They share number three. They're not number one. Number two. What's one rapper that I like? I'm not going to say Kevin Gates. I'm not going to put myself out there like that. If you like Kevin Gates, you just like Kevin Gates. No, I don't listen to all his music though. It's not like a. I really don't have a number two, but number one, I feel like Lil Baby. That's a good number one. He not. not. I feel like Lil Baby. Don't. Hey, don't, don't, don't be mad at me for this, but I feel like Lil Baby is could possibly be the best rapper of our generation yeah Lil Baby is very good as an overall rapper but he's just not my favorite like everybody like okay so it's it's different asking who's the best rapper than asking who's my favorite like Lil Baby I'm not a hood nigga I can't relate to his like lyrics so I like Lil Baby and I listen to him but he just not my favorite because I don't really get into him now let me tell you who my favorites are Mine is young boy on that list. Yes, but he used to be number one. He's not no more. Now young boy is number three. I really like young boy's old music. All his new music is is it's fifty fifty for me. I like fifty percent of it. I don't like the other fifty percent. So just for that, but young boy will always have a special place in my heart because I love young boy for so long. And back in the day, Ooh. oh I used to be on young boy bad. I used to have a young boy phone case and everything. Like I just got rid of that phone case last week, so it's not even like that long ago. But yeah, young boy number three. Money bag, yo, little baby. What would you do if you had tracked your boyfriend down to see where he was going, and you seen that he was with another female? Where, <laughs> if you was to pull up on them, what would you do? Immediately, I'm beating his ass. Immediately, I'm not or hers. No, his. Now, whether she gets her ass beat or not depends on how she acts if i start beating his ass and you start like if she inserts herself into our into our personal situation then i'm gonna have to beat her ass too but i i didn't want to do it honestly because it's not your fault like you but what if she knew if she still, was texting you on instagram sending you pictures of her house <laughs> bye <laughs> you're done <laughs> what would you do it's a real question what would what? i do then I'm gonna beat your ass because why are you sending me pictures of my house you're picking? Mm. And you're messy. Me? Yeah. <laughs> She's messy real bad, y'all. You wasn't expecting that question. <laughs> me? Oh, most definitely. The man, first you're getting your butt beat because you trying to, first of all, I wouldn't even get with somebody that I know would do type of stuff like that. Girl, nobody thinks that they're gonna get cheated on, they just do. Cause all niggas do is lie. But I, but I feel like I wouldn't stoop that low to track you down. I would just, if I feel like you're cheating on me, or if I know you're cheating on me, I would just break up with you. Like, but how you go? What if you can't find no proof in his phone? What if you just like? You just know. You got a feeling, but you don't got no proof. Mm. Then you, you gotta got, track him down. Then you got to. Then there's no choice. Oh, I saw this on TikTok. It said. Would you end a 10 month relationship because your boyfriend slid up on another girl picture with her eyes? Ooh. Ooh, a 10 month? This happened to me. I did. Hey. Yeah. You would? Yeah. Because, like, why are you sliding up under her being talking about some hard eyes? Like, like do I look like what do I look like to you and first of all like why would you if you're in a happy 10 month relationship why would you even be signing up under somebody's story to begin with like that's dumb think he wasn't gonna get caught makeup turned out great today if I do say so myself 
The two pretty cousins. Okay, we gotta show the fit. Fit. You gotta show the fit. Okay, I'll go first since you sitting down. Okay. So, hold on, how do you show the full body? Yeah, just stay right there. Stop. Okay, I have on this corset top from Sheen. I have on these camo pants from a local like uh, clothing boutique. And then shoes, I'm wearing some shoes from Fashion Nova. Okay, you'll see them later. Okay, do me. All right, so. This jean jacket from Sheen, you already know the vibes. We got pretty little thing. Period. Dress, and then you know we got the little pearl shoes, the white paint, no toes. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, don't zoom in on the toes, nah. But I got the little white toes or whatever. I got me some earrings. I got these from Forever 21, and I got my Pandora little charm bracelet. So you know the vibes. You already know. Period. You already know the vibes. Nails and I dove are still eating. Still, still eating like still. always. You already know. So she said I heard you back with you know who. I told a girl I'm always back with you know who. She said she wish it was two of me. Hey y'all, so right now we're taking pics. You know me. If I don't do nothing else, I'm gonna give me a good picture. So yeah, I'm gonna set y'all up when I take my pics. Hey vlog, you already know. Kaya. Yeah, she just took our pictures, period. Kai the baddest. Don't ever play with a big Kai, not the little one. You already know. Get, get the ankles. Oh, 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 you oh, know, oh. You know. Switching over. Made a lane and niggas can't get over. I can't mess with rapper, baby, both. Rather get the pack and keep the open. Big dribble, stand up in the ocean. Everybody trapping, we get low. He ain't focused yet, but he ain't got motion. Made a half a ticket, not for motion. Shout out to Sushi Sweet and keep me rolling. But if we get the out, we gotta slow. Riding around with Drake, got me over, yo. I got some rats and I want some smoke. Still got a pass in the hood, call it give and go. Keep a nigga, man, bitch, in a fit of folk. Let me fuck when I want, I just come and go. Man, it's drinking too good for these skin and clothes. I might put me in him and some bitch of both. Man, look, bro, he just think that's like getting low. I spent five hundred on the limo and didn't even know how to So right now, I just got to the house. You know. I mean, it's me. Finna get me. No, but uh, we went to the uh, Adores. It was real cute. I actually decided I'm going to have my uh, second birthday dinner there. So, my little chill birthday dinner. Come back over here, Cash. Where are you going? Come on. So, yeah. Uh, we had a cool little fun day. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Something's wrong with the setting on my camera, y'all. I need to try to fix it today, but. <sighs> this is my dog, Cash. She has a mullet because she hasn't got a haircut yet. She's emo. I hate my mom. I hate my dad. Yeah, she's emo. So, it's, and she said, it's, she told me it's not a phase, mom. So, this is her. She don't like being healed like that, y'all. But like I told her, if I want to hold you, I'm going to hold you. And you're not going to do nothing about it. Make sure that y'all uh, follow me on Instagram at bigmoney underscore nay. Follow my business Instagram at Boutique. And yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And bye. Say bye, Kat.